Hi guys, so I want to show you something that's heartwarming but also deeply frustrating. Do you remember Sir Edward Lee? He's the red-faced Tory Brexiteer who stood up in the House of Commons some days ago proclaiming that his constituency has done its fair share to take in migrants from Eastern Europe. At the time I called out his crap as we're talking about refugees here, not migrants. Anyway, this brings us to this collection that took place in his constituency and sadly the problems they faced. from church this morning. So, as I said, this was in Sir Edward Lee's constituency. The people of his constituency are not like him. They actually want to help people. And I want to say thanks to my good friend H.M. Murdoch for sharing this. And H.M. Murdoch says, people forget about Brexit. Getting that to Ukraine is going to be a nightmare. And he was right. And this was covered by The Independent, you can see here in the title. Customs red tape is delaying Ukraine aid delivery, charities say. So a charity was, so the charity collected all these, um, all these items, wanted to take them to Ukraine, but there were some problems. Here was the, the charity involved, it says on their Twitter account, uh, update, this is all the aid that you helped us collect uh, a few hours ago, stranded in Dover after two days, held back by paperwork and customs wrangles. Fortunately, they got some help from Kieran the van driver, who has appeared on LBC with James O'Brien a number of times. Kieran explains here the problem. Vans are now being turned away at Dover docks, carrying aid for minimal value on commercial invoices by the Brits, not the French. They're enforcing the law 100% on humanitarian aid. Miffed and dumbfounded is an understatement. So the, the people turning away these vans are the Brits, the British government, okay? It's not the French, so we can't blame the French for this. Fortunately, it did get resolved, thanks to Kieran himself, and I just want to share with you that. It says here, uh, the vans finally got onto the ferry on Sunday with the help of Kieran Donovan, a St. Albans-based courier who, trans who transports goods across Europe for a living. He said, what they did in the end, was, uh, which is absolutely mental, is that they went on a tourist ticket, which you're not supposed to do, made them pay an extra 60 quid per van. It's chaos, there's no law to it, there's no rule to it. So... The fact, the fact is what they did was they transported these, this humanitarian aid on a tourist ticket and they paid 60 quid per van because of post-Brexit red tape. The British government could have just allowed this to, to flow through, but they decided, no, 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 we, we need to enforce the rules 110%. You know, people are trying to do something good. I know Priti Patel and the Home Office don't want people to do good things. And this is, you know, as the old saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. Thankfully, this got moving. But this this um, shipment got help out from uh, Kieran, the van driver, because he knows the ins and outs of these things. Uh, but how many were probably turned back because they didn't have the right paperwork? And the fact that they had to use, they had to get round the problem in order to get the goods not even goods, the, the items across the sea. Um, and hopefully they're arriving to help people out. It's just absurd. We need to waive the rules for, for things like this. And I covered it in another video how even pet passports were being waived for uh, people coming from the Ukraine into Poland. That's what we need to do at this moment. Yes, we have to have uh, rules and regulations, but we need to suspend them for a moment for humanitarian reasons. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.